Hey, this is Bishop Briggs, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Bishop Briggs. Hi! Hello, welcome back. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How oh are gosh, you? I'm so excited for this. You Me don't even too. Know. I even sent you a little tweet the other day, like, I'm so stoked to find yes, you. Did you see my reply? So many hearts and little faces. I was <laughs> yes. so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, welcome back to Canada. Thank you. It's you're so welcome. good to be back. I saw you actually got to visit Niagara Falls. Yes. Is that your first time? That's the thing. It was like 7 a.m. <laughs> we had just crossed the border. I was wearing basketball shorts oh my gosh, and yeah. a hoodie. Well, it's like your band and, clothes, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Like some of our tour merch. Like <laughs> I looked so crazy, but I loved the experience. It's beautiful, right? It was stunning. It was just, I was just taking it all in. Do you find yourself wearing a lot of your own merch on the road? Because like <laughs> laundry is so difficult and you know, you <laughs> always have your own stuff. That's the thing. I feel like people just think, wow, like she's so great at self-promoting. That's not what it is. It's a necessity. It's a necessity. And uh, yeah, so I've been wearing our hoodie. We have this it's so nice. really cozy. Wait, do you have one? I don't. Oh my God, I need to give you one. Please do. Oh my God, oh my yes. God, I'll totally wrap it. Oh my God, <laughs> yes. Okay, we're going to organize that. Um, but yeah, it's nice and cozy. And yes, it's become a staple. Well, one of the beautiful things about being an artist is that it takes you all over the place. You get to tour the world. So I was wondering, as far as the places you visited, is there anywhere you just love to go to just to relax? Like no music, nothing work related. Ooh. Where would you love to do that? Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I mean, my first thought is anything Paris related, just because for some reason I think of like romance and like being something magical with, when you think about it. Yes. Um, but I also, I mean, I would love to just throw in like Jamaica okay. or like, you know, just something really fun, spontaneous. Yeah, that'd be really fun. Okay, well, last time I saw you, it was so hot out. It was a couple years back at a music festival. Yeah. But I noticed now that the winter is coming in, you know, fall's <laughs> rolling in, you have the most incredible, like, bomber jacket collection I've ever seen. Thank you. How many do you have? Oh, my gosh. Ah, oh, it's so funny. You sound like my mom because my mom was like, Dad, <laughs> she's kind of nagging you though a little bit. Totally, like, yeah. Just one too many. Exactly. She's like, how many do you have? Um, well, on tour, I feel like I have a reasonable amount. I feel like I have a normal human amount. Okay. But with that, what's a normal human amount? <laughs> Which I can leave up to your own imagination. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so that's a normal human amount. But at home, it's it's a little absurd, you okay. know, because it's just, I just get really excited. You see and it and you just have to have it. Because, I mean, there's so many thrift shops in L.A. that you just kind of, you know, it's like $2 in L.A. You oh, know, wow. it's just really? super, yes. Jeez. Yeah. Um, and there are some that aren't $2. <laughs> But we're not going to talk about that. You just hide those, and you go to mom, and you're like, exactly. it was two bucks. Exactly. That's it. Yeah, it's a bargain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, on the music front, it's super exciting because you have a new single out called Dream. Yes. Are you so excited to finally have stuff for people to listen to? Oh, now? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And um, this is a song that is so different for me, you know, um, probably because it has a layer of hope in it, which I've never had <laughs> in my music. It's never had like anything hopeful. Um, but if you listen to the lyrics, of course, it's still lyrically quite dark. Um, but there is an element of hope. Um, and it's been really energetically nice for me to kind of be around something like that um, when maybe comparatively releasing something that's a lot darker, um, so it's been nice. Do you think that future songs might have more of an optimistic? No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> just the one, that's no, it. Don't, no, don't Never hold your breath. Again. Don't hold your breath. I keep in mind, the song that we're describing as optimistic, I'm talking about a dream where I was screaming and no yes. one could hear me. Right? Isn't that kind so, of funny? Yeah, so just want to make it clear, that's our form of that's optimism. Exactly. Yes. I'm glad you brought up lyrics because the one that really stands out to me is shining light, show and tell, don't be scared, truth is hell. Because I feel like everybody, like I heard that for the first time, was like a light bulb. Aww went off because everybody's so scared to tell the truth but it just uh, comes down to wanting to be honest with people like how did that oh come about gosh. well I had a tour um I think it was actually this time last year okay. and I really realized that secrets make you sick and I just had this lyric in my head secrets make you sick and that's what became the bridge um they say that secrets make you sick um because I had this particular tour that I was on and I was dealing with this heartbreak and I was just carrying it with me and I wasn't telling anyone I was just having this personal experience but in the process of not sharing it with my bandmates and not sharing it with those around me you, just, you feel that in your stomach right I 
really got physically sick, oh. you know, and just, um, and I feel like mentally it's just so not good for you, you know? And uh, so that's what that entire section is about, you know, including the bridge, which kind of continues the theme. And you did a total 180 as far as holding it in, now you're just kind of screaming know, it out every I single know. night. Isn't that every kind night. of bizarre? Yes, yes. <laughs> and it's funny because it's kind of a year since that mm -hmm. moment in my life. And so to be wow. singing a song that is kind of, out of that darkness is just so therapeutic. Um, but then it's also not therapeutic because I'm just repeating myself every single night. <laughs> it's reminding you a little bit. <laughs> it's reminding me. Um, but uh, I think it has a positive. And have any of your songs actually come from dreams? Oh my gosh, so many. A ton, really? Yeah, because um, it's my favorite thing to analyze dreams. I okay. love, I mean, you can ask me. I overanalyze my dreams. Oh my gosh, yeah. good, yes, because they're laced in symbolism. There's so much to take from them. Um, and there's really cool visuals. Um, that I feel like you can always take from. And it's your subconscious. So it's things that it's, you're it's not willing. It's telling you something. Exactly. Yeah. It's things that you're not willing to admit in your day to day. Well, I think it's good to hone in on it. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah. we have to talk a little bit about Millie Bobby Brown because you oh. lost it when you saw her dancing oh. around to the okay. song. That's How crazy. How sweet is she? It was adorable. She is so <laughs> sweet. Like, my heart just explodes for her. How did you come across it? Um, well, she sent it. Uh, she sent it to oh so, so she posted it and then I and this is just gonna sound obnoxious but then I texted her and I was like can I post this like this is so <laughs> cute like thank you Aww. so much and she was like of course like no worries like just so chill uh, acting like it isn't a big deal that yeah. she even did that um, but yes uh, she said that uh, the minute she heard it she was like I need to put on sunglasses and a onesie <laughs> and I need to dance this <laughs> and, go crazy. and I need my brother to film me Aww. and so uh yeah I really appreciate her and I'm so excited for her career it's I mean crazy. it's just it's beyond and she's just so talented and um I think something that's you know even bigger than her acting chops and accomplishments is just her heart she seems I don't know her but she seems so down to earth very and uh and I think there's just such a purity to that, and I hope she always has that, and I think she always will. Yeah. I was curious, aside from Millie, if you were to find out that a celebrity loved your music, who would have to be that one person where you would just lose it? Okay, you are talking, ah, oh God. <laughs> I mean, you're talking to me post, like, pink covering River. Oh, so, true, so. I mean, <laughs> I don't know anything that will top, top that. that. really? Wow. That, that was insane. Understandably. Yeah, that was crazy, and I still, <laughs> like, if I'm having a bad day, like, I just think of the, I just think of the fact that she covered it, yeah. and I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> it's Everything's okay now. Exactly, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> um, so it's hard to tell, but that was definitely a, a top, top. Well, I noticed that you've been on a bit of a tattoo kick lately. Kind of like one day, I believe you were out somewhere, and you're like, oh no, there are two parlors literally like a block away from this venue. Yes. This is not healthy. I actually just filmed a snap where I just showed like a tattoo shop and it just showed my face, and I was like, oh, <laughs> no. God, yes, oh no. But you got the cheeky cherub recently, right? Yes. That's so the cool. Cheeky cherub. Cheeky cherub. Yes. I like have it somewhere because you're still kind of getting used to I know, it. Aren't you, I on know. Your body? And it's funny, when I have it like this, it's just These weird legs. legs. <laughs> <laughs> weird legs. <laughs> Um, yes, it's been a, it's been a thing. My mom is a little distressed, but she's okay. she's doing okay. She loves this one because uh, she is a very traditional Catholic lady. Okay. She's Scottish, and uh, so she loves this one. Um, I think it's the only one that she loves. Just sidetrack her with the jackets. Just bring exactly. Her back to those. Yes, <laughs> yes. And you know, I'm generally wearing jackets, so they're a little bit hidden. This one isn't as hidden, but uh, yeah. They all serve as little reminders. Well, I was wondering, what was the first tattoo you ever got? Ooh. Okay. First tattoo was this right here. Okay. And it's a mountain lion, and it's from a uh, medicine card that I picked. Um, and a few of mine are actually from, like, tarot cards, medicine cards. Okay. Um, this one uh, is kind of probably one of the most important, but it was uh, very spontaneous. I actually went in to get something on my arm and I just said, could you just tattoo my neck? Oh my gosh. Um, I know, I'm psycho. I always do spontaneous <laughs> tattoos. Um, but this one was actually a tarot card that I picked and it was called The World. And at that point in my life, um, I wasn't feeling great and I picked this card and I guess what the card means is completion and wholeness and so I thought it could serve as a reminder that even though I don't feel complete and I don't feel whole I do have moments of it I and that. I will ultimately reach that at some point 
Um, it's always and a grasp. Like I just kind of reach out and get it. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, the tattoo thing has been a bit crazy, but it's been so fun. They look really good though. Thank you. I, I held back for so much of my youth because <laughs> yeah. my mom didn't like it. Yeah. And so the minute I got like kind of a green light, like she laughed when I said it one time and I was like, that's progress. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jump in on somewhere. this. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you got one recently that was inspired by your dad because yes. you came across an old high school notebook or something. Yes. Tell me oh about my that. It's so cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's. It's here, and it's a... We can pop a up a photograph. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll Perfect. St- I'll steal it from your Instagram. Oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> um, I'll have to show you the side-by-side, side, but I came across um, this little school notebook of his, and it was covered in Led Zeppelin quotes and uh, just the Led Zeppelin uh, symbolism and font, and then I came across this little, uh, this little skull uh, that had a pirate's... Uh, you know, yeah. thing the, the on, on yes, the yes, <laughs> uh, pirates patch, and um, his nickname in you know back in the day was Cheeky Charlie, okay. and I kind of loved the idea that Cheeky like Charlie. Cheeky Charlie, I know because okay. he was very crazy, and um, uh, I loved the idea of like you know he's still that you know, and there's still this rebel that's inside of him. And uh, I loved the idea of just carrying that youthful presence. I was about to say, like, I can see it. I I can see it Uh, mirrored and kind of passed down to you. Really? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And so I loved the idea of, like, keeping that alive. And, uh, yeah, he when he first heard about it, he was very nervous. And then when I showed him, he was like, it's my favorite tattoo, darling. Yeah, so he was was happy. And was he like your mom where he was like, don't get them? Uh, No, he, uh, he was kind of someone that, was uh you know open and just very you know be creative express yourself um and uh but my mom had a bit of a louder voice for a while balance than the the crazy exactly (laughs) i have the cheeky charlie and i have you know my mom oh that's awesome yes well i have one tweet that i wanted to hear more about from you it was three three words and i saw it i was like this is so funny you literally just sent to fans and so many people replied you're so hot Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what sparked that? Oh my. Do you oh. remember? Oh yes, of oh. course. Okay. Yes, I mean it was like a couple of days ago. Okay. Um it was um a subliminal message uh to a guy that I like. Oh that was it. Yeah. You're just kind of hoping, hoping yeah. that he'll see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um and he did see it. And it went well. It went over well. Okay. <laughs> but it was so great, too, though, because it hit two birds, one stone. Because I was like, I would love everyone that follows me to know that, like, I love them. Yeah. And I think they're hot. But then I was also, like, doing a little, you know. Oh, my gosh. And he, he little just sneaky knew. flirting. Well done. Yes, yes. <laughs> you have to do what you can. Of course. <laughs> yes. Well, just to wrap things up, I want to bring it back to the fans. Anything okay. you want to say to all of those? Because oh even since I saw you, I think, what, last year, last summer, it's just absolutely exploded for you like I'm so happy thank you you're welcome no they are amazing and I'm just so thankful that they've come along on this journey with me and I'm so thankful to you you know you have been so supportive and um and seeing your growth as well has been insane I, don't you feel like it's been kind of a crazy it's year? It's been a bit of like a roller coaster that's yeah. now like just going up for it, us. And it I feels, feel like it's... It feels really exciting. Sometimes you need those ups and downs in order to kind of get to where you are. Totally. And it's super inspiring for me to see all the stuff you're going through. That's because, how I feel about you. Oh, thank you. I mean, I really <laughs> do. I feel the exact same for you. Thank you. Um, I just think it's such an exciting time. And I'm sure you feel the same. But you're just really thankful to people that have been there from day one. But also people that are jumping on now. Yeah. And, you know, I think that's just as important and just as special um and i'm just so appreciative of it all oh i just want to say like let's bring it in oh, thank you so much i really appreciate you taking the time oh, it's so good seeing thank you thank you it's such an iconic venue right i'm so excited <laughs> you're killing it yeah. thank you so much <laughs> and remember to everybody viewing you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews features videos and so much more see ya bye